How's everybody doing? Hope you're all having an awesome day. Today's what Thanksgiving Eve, I guess. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. It was up in the 60s today. It took me a little long to get out and about. So it's uh, already approaching sunset now, as you can see there in the mountains. And it's really cooling off really quick. So just making a quick run up to town here. Try and enjoy what could be like the last warm day of the year. I doubt it because Colorado usually has a couple of treats sprinkled in here and there. Sometimes mid-December can be like 70, 80 degrees. So probably get a few more surprises, but just in case we don't, we wanted to come out and enjoy this one for just the minute if possible. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably experience this. Sometimes you're riding along, you enter these like cold pockets. It'll be kind of warm and then all of a sudden, boom, you're step into an ice box. And it's like a little pocket, a little bubble of just super cold shit. Cruise through that for a minute. And then right here, I'm like coming out the other side of it. It's like warming up just a touch. Interesting. Maybe next year I'll uh, save up enough money to put this bike in the shop, go find a dope mechanic who can give this thing a full tune-up. 636 running a little rough. Has been for a while. Puppy. Sweet puppy dog. Grab a little drinky drink real quick. That'll work right there. Gotta get a hat so we don't scare people. Check out that lighting, huh? We're gonna get some nice pinks and reds tonight. Okay, we're all buckled up. Got a couple drinky drinks. It's cool, this van right here, this Dodge Grand Caravan. Has a top left corner of their back windshield there. Maybe I can zoom in on it, but they got an Easton Brazilian Jiu Jitsu sticker there. That red and yellow one, that's an old Jiu-Jitsu gym I used to train at way back in the day. Way down like Aurora, Parker. Still see people rocking the sticker. Nowadays we're all about 10th planet though. But Easton was kind of one of the originals out here in Colorado at least. All right, let's go check out this sunset. Stop sitting around talking. Let's go ride our motorcycle. Ooh, yeah, I got some pinks over there already. It's pretty, pretty. Yeah, check that out, man. It's gorgeous. Let's see if we can turn down this one and get another look at it. Oh yeah. Pretty. This is where your tin advisor starts to work against you. So it's good to carry a clear one around in your backpack. Times like this, as soon as I close my visor, it's super dark. It's really hard to see the road anymore. It all kind of blends together in one shade, one texture. So you almost have to ride around with it cracked open in this time of day, this lower lighting, so that you can still see those little details that you need to do to keep you safe. Otherwise, if you just had that clear one, you pull over, slap that thing on, be good to go. And what a view. Sick. Another thing to look out for this time of night, a lot of people haven't turned on their headlights yet. It's so kind of this transitional phase, right? Where you can still see pretty well. You don't really need your headlights yet to see to illuminate the road, but a lot of cars kick them on automatically. Some drivers will turn their headlights on as soon as it gets to this time of day. So you gotta be on the lookout for the people, the cars who haven't turned their headlights on because the ones that do have the lights on are really visible really easy and then the ones that don't have their lights on are really easy to hide amongst those cars that do have their lights on especially if you're getting ready to pull out onto a street or at an intersection or anything like that look twice three times four times to try to see if there's any of those cars sneaking up on you black friday sales and cyber monday deals and all that going on right now i don't really care too much for all those made up holidays but there are some motorcycle gear deals going on online right now that i've seen so i might actually jump on i desperately need a new helmet mine is i don't even want to say how many years old but it's worn out it's beat up it's been through a lot i could use a new one I'm poor as hell but something like a new helmet Helmet to protect my head when I'm riding around filming videos and training so a worthy investment I'd be able to find one for around just over a hundred bucks right now so that's kind of my top end of my price range if I can spend like 150 bucks on a brand new helmet that's a pretty good score for me rocking this mesh jacket right now ain't gonna do it for the winter time I definitely want to get out and ride some more throughout the end of the year here even if it's cold so I might have to invest in a little bit of heated gear as well so I don't just have to sit around and dream about riding a bike like everyone else. I like to actually get out and still rip around a little bit in the snow and ice and clay. Trying to get a couple little looks at this sky over here for you guys. I love these blues along with those oranges. Starts looking real good. Looks like my mirror got kind of twacked. All right, so here's a good example. Double check there's no cars coming before you pull out right there. 
hopefully everyone has an awesome holiday. I'm trying to think of some video ideas we could talk about. Give you guys some more tips and tricks on anything or help out. One just came to my mind that I actually have been wanting to make since uh, Veterans Day, which is really applicable for tomorrow and the weekend coming up. Even if the weather is awesome and beautiful, it's not a good idea to ride your motorcycle during those holidays, especially if they're an extended weekend, like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You're just gonna have a lot more fatalities and crashes going on on the road due to the higher volume of motorists and people out on the roads, right? A lot more people out traveling, going back and forth this way and that. So statistically, around these holidays, there's a lot more crashes and accidents. And unfortunately, a lot of it is to do with alcohol. And people are eating up, eating good food, drinking some booze, and then jumping in their cars, trying to go drive from one relative's house to another. And they end up going out there on the highways and the roads, and you're out there trying to ride your motorcycle around, or even driving your car, and you end up getting cleaned up by a drunk driver, or intoxicated driver, or driver under the influence. Especially out here in Colorado, there's a lot of idiots out, smoking a bunch of fucking weed, and then jumping in their cars, driving around high kids, the reaction time of a fucking, that sloth from Zootopia, <laughs> and you're out trying to ride your motorcycle safely and you gotta watch out for those kind of dipshits but it's the name of the game if you're gonna ride a motorcycle you're gonna have to watch out for all that stuff all the time anyway so it's just a uh, kind of higher percentage chance of issue on these holidays like veterans day thanksgiving so if you want to get out on the bike just be aware of that right it doesn't have to scare you away from riding your bike it's just something to be aware of and put in your brain that hey if i decide to go out today i need to have this in my mind that i have a higher chance of getting smoked so and then if you're willing to take that chance and take those risks then be like me and just get out and ride anyway and watch your ass that's really all there is to it. Not a big, big thing. Just watch your butt. Probably should have parked the bike right here and get that badass shot. Yeah. Fuck it, let's pull it up. So if you ever want to just move your bike a few feet, just pop your side stand up. It's already in first gear. Just ease my clutch out. Walk it right up into this beautiful spot. Throw my side stand back down. There it goes. Make sure your side stand's all the way down. Yeah, there we go. And we got the cool little view right there. That's looking pretty sweet. So, I'm gonna have to leave you guys as far as the audio goes, but I'm gonna try and play with one of these new toys. Somebody might have gotten tricked your Cory a present, so. I'm gonna try and hook it up real quick. Got one of these uh, little bar mounts here, so. I'm trying to slap it on and see how it goes, so. See you guys later. Gotta do it quick before it gets too dark. Yeah, all good. Okay. Thank you.